a wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. We've been a lackey for so long that I forgot lifting curses is a thing we do. They deserve to suffer! So this guy, well, very clearly he wants the other two people dead. Oh, there's someone here too. Is that another no guardian? Seems like it by the, the armor. Where does that go? Nowhere? Holy god, look at that! Ah! Oh. Are we actually... Oh, hospital files 4. Okay. Are we actually just gonna bring the guys back to this dude, though? Appendix to the medical record of patient number 14. The patient's drawing seemed to confirm the diagnosis of schizophrenia. The cruelty prevalent in them undoubtedly stems from childhood events. A strong trauma to be confirmed, coupled with a dominating mother, have warped this poor creature's mind. The patient will receive treatment. I have decided to increase the dosage of her herb mixture. In addition to its healing properties, the concoction seems to force patients to reveal the truth about themselves. And the truth frees us. Does it? Does it? Four. Um, hold on. Would this be a book? We have one, three, four. Did we miss two somewhere, maybe? Oh, maybe it's still around here. Let's have a look around. See, the, the quest thingy says lead grid lead to Rupert, which makes me think that we're not going to give them up. But uh, we don't really know. To suffer. Anything going on here? No. So that guy must still be around here somewhere then. Did I look in this room earlier? If you look on the map. Ah! Oh, there it is. Hospital files 2. Medical notes on patient 15. There's two. Patient number 19. The eldest of our residents. This patient has been with us longer than any other. Cold water therapy has failed in his case. And there seems to be no promise of improvement. I have had him chained and reduce his food rations to weaken the strength of the illness and limit his self-destructive tendencies. I have begun to employ herbs. Yeah, the people who are here, they don't necessarily have the medicine to help them. Medical notes on patient 15. This patient is persistently delusional. He claims to have been abducted by the wild hunt. Ugh! He recounts fantasies of a world where genocide happened and where unicorns wander human graves. What is that, like a medieval Blade Runner reference? <laughs> Sometimes his delusions contain elven gardens. Furthermore, the patient claims that when he escaped the hunt's captivity a year ago, so much time had passed in our world that he saw the graves of his children. Huh. I mean, it sounds kind of crazy, but that doesn't seem to be... too far-fetched. Maybe this guy was a source, because we know sources can see the future and the past and whatever. Could be. Yeah, if we don't understand them, throw them in the freaking asylum. It's like the only thing we know how to do. No way! We've been here. Yep. The floor. Uh -huh. it's, it's creeping We're towards here. me. Wait. Is there a room here too? Art? Oh! Ah. Orange. Fiber enhancer. Earth rune. Robust cloth. Robust cloth. First time I'm seeing it here. Took all of it. I'm in pain. I'm Amethyst armor enhancement. Should I be putting that on my armor? 
Yeah, I think it's permanent. I read in the comments it's permanent. So if I have it, I should probably just put it on, right? Oh, but there's only one slot. One thing I worry about is if I put it on, can I take it off again? Or is it embedded onto that armor forever? Enhancements. This one's plus armor plus one. Vitality plus 10, resistance to bleeding plus 1%. Hey, this one seems better than this one, even though this one's magical. Yeah, what? This one's better. Clearly. Armor plus two. Resistance to bleeding. Oh, there's a lot of different ones we can use here. Mm, fiber enhancer. Well, for starters, yeah, oh yeah, if it's not permanent, it'll say, see like this one, it says duration 20. Okay, so I guess I'll just put a male enhancement on my armor, like that, forever? Okay. Male enhancement. Okay, I don't know how often we're gonna come across them, but I, I did it. Did it. That's all that's here. Sorry. Oh, there you are. And I met the Nilf Guardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. <laughs> ah. Oh, we can just tell the truth for now. I don't really slant towards helping them or, mm, well, I don't like his tone just now. You're the Witcher, get rid of it. Uh, the whole reason why the Nilf Guardian ghost wants them is because they did something horrible back in the day. So he's just trying to get even. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Yes. Witcher, I beg you, do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts, anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. Pig hearts? I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. Oh, so you're just leaving now? Get the hearts and eyes of Neckers. Oh, your dog! Oh, I already have eyes and hearts of Neckers. And? Oh. You're the Witcher, get rid of it. I really don't like your attitude. But at the same time, like, I don't really see Geralt as someone who would feed living humans to a ghost. Even if the humans were the ones who wronged the ghost. Cause... That's like an eye for an eye, and the world will go blind. Now we're actually giving the ghost an eye! Huh. Um, that's... okay. Yeah, that's fine. Are we going back in right now, then? Is he gonna get tricked by this? Cause Necker eyes... It's not like Neckers particularly look like humans. So I wonder if their eyes are... similar enough... to trick him. Whoa! Oh, this is the... Oh, wow, that's that's great. That's great. Hey. You return. With hearts and eyes. And now you'll swear an oath. Once I give you what I've brought, you'll release your hold on this place. Not so fast, Richard. I want a pact. I want you to swear on this curse. Then keep your word, or your lust for revenge will go unsatisfied forever. I'll trust you. Let shadows withdraw into darkness. Let madness be soothed. Let what has died be buried. Let this place that was cursed be so no more. Now, give me what you brought. Fool, who knows not that the dead cannot be deceived. You sought to rob me of my revenge, dog. You oh. shall share the fate of those thieves. Uh oh. Oh! Well, die. I guess that's that. So much for. We are really risking our necks out here for some people who might not be 
deserving of our help. But it's okay, we're in this now, so it's just something we gotta do. Ooh, this guy's an actual fighter. He's blocking me and all. I find that sometimes, even if I spam the strike, it actually works out pretty well. Hmm. Kinda sad, though. Oh, hospital files. Wait. Four, again? Did we not already get four earlier? Oh, I have two of it now. Yeah, that's- that's weird. Hmm. Schizophrenia. Okay. I want his sword. That's what I really want. I don't really feel like the people were all deserving of our help like that, but... I don't want to feed them to some ghost either. It's kind of... Kind of a tough spot for me to be in. Yeah. Well, what's done is done, so that's fine. How do we get back up? Not this way? Alright. Actually, how do I get back up? Because if we go this way, doesn't that just go deeper into the place? Whoa, I'm so lost. Where do we come from? Here, okay. Hey, you two. I destroyed the Nilfgaardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. Oh. I've lifted the curse. But the perpetrators must be punished. What are you going to do? I'll take you to Laredo. Let him pass Laredo. judgment. Laredo! No. Not him. Just not him. We'll not go anywhere. Shut up. Oh. A little bit unexpected. Halt! Who you got there? Murderers. Laredo needs to judge them. Get out of here. Look at him acting like a constable. Guests? How nice. Bring him to me. We should talk about the good old days. <laughs> oh. Now what? Oh! It's just completed. And we got brought back here, too. We're out of the forest now. Not far from the ruins, Geralt found the first traveler. Rupert was sobbing by a tree. Looking for Gridley. Well, this one's long. Yeah. The hospital, the doctor's notes stated that the medical staff had carried out experiments on the mentally ill. That is really not what you should be doing to people who need help. Is that what the herbs were? I thought they were really trying to help the patients. Instead of killing Gridley and Rupert, our hero decided to slaughter a few Neckers. Someone unfamiliar with the differences between human and monster anatomy might mistake these for human organs, but not, not the Nilfgaardian Spectre. But he did lift the curse. So we killed him. The curse was lifted and the ghost passed into oblivion, but justice still had to be done. The Witcher decided to hand Rupert and Gridley over to the Flotsam authorities. Willing or not, they followed the Witcher to Laredo's mansion. <sighs> Laredo! Like he's a shining beacon of justice. The soldiers at the gate ridiculed the Witcher, but as they were mocking his desire for law and order, Marietta Laredo peeked outside. Who is that? His mom? Wife? She had the criminals brought inside, and nobody dared to oppose her order. In this mysterious manner, the story of the burned hospital's haunting was concluded. Oh. Seems like there were quite a few different outcomes for this quest, huh? Depending on if we try to trick the ghost, or if we try to bring Rupert and Gridley back to Laredo. Cool. Well, I guess... We're done here again then. We're back in Flotsam without having walked here. I tell which him, is fine. I'm taking your pouch. Yeah, we heard that before. Oh, your pouch uh your... it's nighttime right now, so I don't think we'll find too much going on here. Should I make it daytime again first? Just in case? Why not, I guess? 
It doesn't really cost me anything to go between night and day, so yeah. Let's make it dawn. So we don't even have to sleep in inns in this one. We just <laughs> we just pray on the ground and that's it. That's good enough. Hello? A day like any other. Don't know that I've the strength to work today. Same. That applies for me every single day though. <laughs> okay, there's a green dot over here. Everything Who are you? Green dots? Bunch of green dots? Are they inside? Oh yes, we're back in the the inn. So might as well do the arm wrestling and Dimitri. Was there a Dimitri here? Where was it? Troll trouble. The Witcher learned that the female troll was killed by one Dimitri, who sold her head to Sendler. One of Dimitri's men hung around the inn. Geralt, headed for Flotsam. Okay, and we also have some arm wrestling opponents here. So I guess we'll just, yeah, we'll just talk to everybody here. We don't really know who Dimitri's man is. Uh, won't even That's not Roach. <laughs> Ew. Trade? Do I have anything to trade with you? I don't think so. But, you can probably have my junk if I have any. <laughs> Use trap. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Duh, should I sell my old sword? Or do I want to put it away? Not too sure yet. Maybe I just want to save it up for a little bit, just in case. Um... Yeah, we don't got too much here that I'm... We could sell books, just to get some money back. That could be a thing, but I might forget what to read and what not to read. So I'll just leave that alone for now. Anyway, you're not anybody I'm looking for right now? Anybody here? You look strong. Care for the little contest? Oh, yeah. I will bet everything. Everything. <laughs> oh god, it's arm wrestling again. Who knows what's gonna happen? Oh, 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 oh. We're okay, we're okay. You know the opponent is easy when the bar is long, so... Yeah, 50 Norrins for me! Too strong for me. Here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. Where is this Wiry Wilkes? Oh, right here! You'll not have an easy time with me. Oh, what are you wearing? Oh. All right, well, I will bet my entire life on this, too. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. You guys are, you guys are easy. Chomps! Now that I got the hang of it, you can't stop me anymore. Strongman you are. Here's your coin. You should take on Big Max. Is that the last guy at your table? Big Max? All right. You're a strong lad, but I'm no wimp either. Want to take me on? Hell yeah. Everything. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I think. <laughs> when you look at them actually wrestling, it doesn't really look like they're applying strength at all. Oh. Got it anyway. By Veo Patis's balls, you're strong. Your winnings. There's someone else. No one's beaten him yet. Who? Bartholomew Bargy. You'll find him in the village. Bartholomew? We've definitely seen this person before, although off the top of my head, I don't know who it is. Say something. Or did you just fart? Hey, Tris. Oh. Listen, you know how to remove a tattoo? I thought you looked different. <laughs> Couldn't put my finger on it, though. Hmm. <laughs> Think it looks alright? What's it of? A naked lady brandishing a sword? Geralt. Don't judge. Alright, you can stop now. <laughs> hey, I didn't give you that tattoo. There's this mixture that cleanses the tissue just beneath your skin. And to make it, I'll need green mold, white myrtle petals, and wolf's aloe. <laughs> Stop laughing! Well, I'm off to hunt down some herbs. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to Dandelion. 
and you can stop laughing. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I want to keep that or not. I, I saw some of you mention that if I don't remove this, it actually carries over until the end of time. <laughs> I don't know if a naked lady brandishing a sword is something I really want on my neck forever, but I'll keep it for the time being and we'll try to see, we'll collect the ingredients and see how that goes. Oh! Oh, didn't we do this already? I spoke to the Commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? Heard it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, the batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Laredo, but his Scoyatel might have a different opinion and less restraint. I feel like those those matters are a little bit out of our scale here. I'm just one witcher, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll get wrapped up in the whole thing somehow anyway. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle you anytime. No, even. We did this already, but I was wondering why it was golden. I think it's fine. We don't have to do it. Another time, Zoltan. Okay. Thank you, Zoltan. Oh, oh, you're the traitor. Who wants more beer? Okay, so all we gotta find now is no, Dimitri's I, I man, who is somewhere here. We don't know which one it is. Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! Welcome. Freak. It's one of these people. Only the gods Not you. That the prize will fall to you. Welcome. Not any of these people either, it seems. Um. Watch out for the left you work for Dimitri? Ah! Who's asking? Because you see, friend, I'm starting to find this a mite confusing. You hear at the bidding of that old rag, the Fist Tech Boys or Laredo. And be straight with me. <laughs> I heard you hunted down a troll. None of your plowing business. Hmm. Blaviken. That was the whole Butcher of Blaviken thing, where Geralt killed a whole bunch of people. But he, the people in the town didn't know that he was trying to protect them. So they were like, oh my god, this guy's a, created a massacre here. But he was trying to help all the people in town. Fighting or using this is this persuasion? Let's try this one out. Heard of the butcher of Blaviken? Intimidation. Who hasn't? You say you can gut a man with a single cup. Yeah, I can. And if you don't tell me where I can find Dimitri, I'll splash your guts on the walls. Steady. Start talking. Dimitri hangs around the cemetery near that stinking village. See? You can be nice. All you need to do is try. Cemetery. I don't think I remember seeing that. Cemetery. Gonna put away my sword for now, and since we don't need the other enhancements, do we wanna put it away for now? What's heavy? Iron ores. Guess we can put it away until we actually need to craft something. Yeah, that's okay. Wow, Necker hearts are surprisingly heavy. Because we have 25 of them. Could you imagine? Geralt's backpack, 25 hearts in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was also told that the the trophy we have. This is something we can equip, apparently. Punches light! Trophy. Oh, so I guess, are they both the same? I guess they are. We just put it here, and we get plus one damage. Okay, don't mind if I do. Thank you, thank you. Other than that, my inventory, my weight is doing okay. Not sure what I can really take away here. Most of the stuff, by themselves, they don't actually weigh that much. It's just that when they all add up together, it's it becomes a little bit too much. Yes, I also read in the comments that the bomb thing for the Necker tunnel entrances, it's the grape shot bomb. Uh, I think you have to get the formula from Cedric, somebody mentioned. Maybe we should go back for that too. I can't stand to see those mugs anymore. Oh, Bartholomew Bargy? Where is this guy again? Can we find this guy first so we can finish the arm wrestling quest? I know we saw this guy before, somewhere. If we look at the map, probably. Bartholomew... Oh, he's not marked! Oh, I know we saw- Oh! I know who it is. It's the guy that sits with his mom. 
by the the canoe, right? It's that guy. Let me check. The one bad thing about everybody having names is that you actually have to put some effort into remembering where everyone is. It's quiet here today. Oh! Yeah. Is that where Bartholomew is, or... Is that something else? Inside the house? There is a exclamation mark on the map. become jazz too? Yeah, it is. It is. Mother Argy. What do you want? I heard you're the local arm wrestling champ. You bet I am. I'd like to change that. Many tried and walked away with shit in their britches. You wanna go? Yes. You bet I do. All right, come with me. Let's do it now. I'll be tied up later. All right. Oh, you wanna go somewhere else? That's kinda... Okay, well, I mean, it's okay. I'll take that. Do you want to do it really publicly or something? Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right here. Oh, you want to do it at the table? Okay. Ready? Let's do it. Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, it didn't let me bet. That was weird. Back to the depths, monster. Sleep! I didn't Leave actually choose an or an amount yet, so I'm not sure what it's gonna give me when I do this. Oh god! Strong as an ox. Here are your orange. Once we had a company of Adam Pangrat's mercenaries here. I'm the strongest here, so I took on a dew. But that lad's got superhuman strength. He beat me like a child. If you ever see him, tell him Bart Bargy drinks to his health. All right. Could have gone a hundred orns there. Maybe I clicked too many times? It just automatically did 50 for me. Well, that's one quest done. Awesome, awesome. Let's make a save. What else do we got around here? The troll. Yes, there is a cemetery near here. Have we seen that? Map? Map? Oh, wrong button. Oh, I don't think we've been there, have we? I don't think so. That's the herb lady's house, I think. Oh, we should find Cedric too. Wait, is this one Cedric or is this one Cedric? I don't know, but either way, we gotta go there. This way? I need a grape shot bomb formula, please and thank you. Wherever you are. I think this is Cedric's house. Or is it Sendler's house? No, this is the herb lady's house. Oh, look! Look! Oh, or... But hey, look at that! There's a crow right here. Indoors. That's pretty cool. Hey, herb lady. Do you have anything for me? <laughs> Not really. You got a whole... Oh, do you have nice formulas that I may need? I don't really know. There's so many formulas here! I don't know! No. Oh! Wolf's aloe? That's what I need for the... The tattoo removal, right? 126 orange? Seriously? Really? Wow, that... That's a little bit expensive, so... I mean, I'm just gonna hold off for now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? Vale Pattis, a forgotten god. That's new. Veopatis, a forgotten god of the Pontar Valley, is still worshipped in certain forest settlements. But the times of his greatness and popularity are long past. A few priestesses and witches make offerings to him, yet no common folk wish to take part in their rites. In the era of human colonization, Veopatis was a guardian god, often associated with rivers from which humans drew benefit. He guarded people from the dangers of the forest, Poles bearing his likeness marked the border between areas that had been tamed and those that remained wild and dangerous. Veopatis gave people fish, made sailing easier, and his name was used to ward off beasts. Yet, he remained petulant and fierce. 
In these times, if those wandering through the woods come across some stone idols and gaping jaws, with gaping jaws, they believe them to be the likenesses of fierce monsters rather than statues commemorating a once loved deity. Ah! Earlier, when we saw that statue in the forest, we got scared. That's exactly what they described here. We just think it's some scary thing, but actually, it was Veopatis, god of the Pontar Valley. Hmm. Seems a little bit similar to Vodianoi, with the water thing and all, too. Veopatis, Vodianoi. Different. They're different. Hello, little crow? Raven? Whatever you are. Anyway, that is not where Cedric is. I can have that. Cedric... Would he still be up there? Uh, this one? This house is... Whose house is this? Cedric? Go in. No, this is Sendler's house. Okay. We saw Cedric inside a house before, but sometimes he's up there too, so... Finding him is a little bit of a chore. Unless, if he's in this house right here... <laughs> we really don't know until we go in. Ooh! Cadmill? Oh, hello. Orins? That's how you know I haven't been in this house before. How could there possibly be Orins left? Thank you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure we haven't looked into every single house here yet, either. Yeah. Have we seen this one? This one seems huge. Witcher. Yes. Yes, I'm a witcher. No one's home today. Leather. Twine. Again, so much loot here. That's how you know I haven't been in here before. But I don't wanna... I don't wanna increase my weight, so I'm just gonna leave the... the other... the heavier stuff alone for now. Can girls become witches? Yes, yes they can! Would Cedric be here? Is that Cedric? I don't know. Whoa, the... the lighting feels like it's turning nighttime, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. You're not Cedric. Welcome. No. Careful there. Done. Hello. Hello. No. Did we already loot that? Okay. Well, in that case, I would really love to find Cedric and get the formula if we can. <laughs> Actually, can we look around a little bit more just to find him? Cedric. Mm. He's randomly walking around here! What?! Finally found you! Would you have... Oh, don't forget that he has some Karen stuff too, just in case if we want it. Ooh! We can make this! The trap! Yeah, for the Orans, 276? Ah, the book we bought earlier costs the same amount, so it's not a huge amount, but... Is it an amount that we need to spend? I don't know yet. Carapace? Reinforcement? Leave that alone for now. So for this one, all I need is a uh, iron ore, which I know we have, back at the inn. Um, I'll think about this. I'll leave it alone for now. Grape shot! Oh, how are you supposed to normally know that this is the right bomb though? Because it doesn't even say here. It just says bomb. Wounds all within range with shrapnel. That's all it says. Okay, cool. We have that now. Can we make it? Thank you. Thank you, Cedric. I was looking for you for a while. Um, Alchemy? Hmm. When I think alchemy, I think potions. So it's a little strange to me to be making a trap here. Okay. Do we just want one? Maybe like two? Because we know that there's probably more than one entrance. Okay. Now that I got that, that means the next time we come back to that tunnel area, we should be able to close it off this time. Cool. Okay, now that we have that then, save. And we'll see if the graveyard 
if Dimitri is at the graveyard. We've actually never been there before. I think it's my first time. So that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Assuming nothing comes out here and tries to scare me. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's one of the smaller roads I never took last time, I think. Oh. Here? Yes, here. So if I just go this way... Last time we were here, we saw some bandits. This time, we take a turn. We take a left. Oh, great. Wait, is that the silver sword or... I don't even know anymore! Okay, okay, I'm ready. Uh... Wait, what have you guys been doing here? Do we all know that's no squirrel, but an ordinary elf? He won't know shit. Ears pointy, check. We'll dress the corpse in green and collect an even hundred. Heard Malena makes more than that. I guess robbing the soldier is better business than robbing elves. I'll not hear of that whore again, got it? Treacherous rag. She'll get what she deserves, won't be long now. Couldn't satisfy her, eh? Can't fault the girl for being ambitious. Uh. And the stiff on the ground is who? Some spy from Vizima, soon to be our squirrel's grave mate. Laredo told me to get rid of him, and since we've got this vacancy in the boneyard, thought I might do our friend a small favour. He don't look like no spy. They never do once they're dead. Oh, huh, almost forgot. Whoa. Might pay to search him good and thorough before we plant him in the dirt. You, Dimitri? Why the fuck do you want to know? The troll sends his regards. Kill him! No witnesses! Oh, we're fighting! Wait, I don't have a swallow potion or anything yet. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Hold on, okay? Let's try to get the smaller people first. Maybe that's gonna be... One at a time. We gotta focus on one as... Whoa, they're throwing things at me! That's... That's new. Woo! I wanna get that guy in the back, but they're not letting me. <laughs> Oh! Someone threw something at me. Okay, one guy gone. Dimitri! He's the one throwing things at me. Let's save him for last. Something, something, poetic justice. Okay. What about the other guy? Oh, come on. This guy? Fight the dust. Whoa, losing health fast. Oh, get him in the back! Oh. That guy's doing an awful lot of throwing around me. Oh! There we go. There we go. 1v1 me. Try to get around to the back. That's the key here, right? We can't really get him in the back if he's backed up in the corner, though. Whoa! Oh, Dimitri absorbs all damage. It's kind of hard to pay attention to the combat log when I'm fighting, but uh, I think it's important to look at it. Actually, somebody in the comments brought up a really interesting mechanic that I didn't know about, but I'll have to finish this fight first because I'm a little distracted right now. On. Ooh, I gotta block more. Oh, should have blocked that. Ooh. Come on. Well, we avenge the troll. Look at my health! Oh my god, we were so close to dying. Bandit hideout key, robust longsword. Dimitri's letter of safe passage. Mm. So the the mechanic that I was informed of in the comments was that... Oh, what's that? Wooden rung rope ladder. A ladder? We have a ladder. Oh, there were more people dead than this. There were like four people here, weren't there? Only two people had loot? Really? That can't be right. Anyway, the mechanic is that apparently my sword damage depends on 
the amount of vigor I have. So for example, if I use my Igni like this, then I only have half vigor. That actually decreases my sword damage. And that's not something I knew until it was pointed out, so I feel like that's gonna be... That's a bit of a strange mechanic, isn't it? It's kind of discouraging the use of both styles. You either have to go with the signs, or you go with the sword. You can't really do both and use it effectively, which is... a little strange, but I think that means we'll have to just... Yeah, I'm gonna keep that combat mechanic in mind, but for the time being, I'm not sure how it's going to affect what I do yet. Oh, it's just junk! The ladder was ch I thought we could use this! Ooh, bandit hideout key. Dimitri's letter of safe passage. To all unit commanders and officers, the bearer of this document, a man named Dimitri, is acting under orders from Commandant Bernard Laredo. He should not be hindered in any way. Uh-oh. In the event of his violation of Temerian law, punishment should not be exacted, though the deed should be reported immediately to the Commandant. By order of Bernard Laredo, Commandant of Flotsam and its garrison, Louis Merce. <laughs> he was writing a letter earlier being like, What are you talking about? There's no way we're hiding. There's no way we're giving extra privileges to someone named Dimitri. No way. <laughs> Long sword? The one I have is better. Okay. Alright. Well, I think that means we can probably go back to the troll and tell him what happened. Geralt killed Dimitri and his bandits at the burial ground. The lucky bastards won't have to go far now. The female troll was avenged, and the witcher went to see her husband. What is Lorito gonna think, though? Because not only did I not kill the troll, because remember, this whole thing started with him being like, hey, I'm posting a contract, someone please go kill the troll. But on top of that, I killed Dimitri. So I don't think he's gonna be very happy with me, but you know what? Who cares what Lorito thinks? Whatever. We can do everything without him. We don't need him. It's fine. Circle of power. Whoa! Holy god! Hold up. Hold up. Guess they'll never learn. Do you actually want to fight or Yeah, let's try out that mechanic here. If I use Igni. Yeah, if you look in the combat log, it says I have 25% fatigue. Oh, it died. That was fast. Yeah, so my sword damage decreases because I used Igni. It it really is a little bit strange, but um, yeah, we'll just have to work with that. I like having the signs to use, though, so I don't know how to feel about this mechanic. Hey... Give vodka, dwarf. You drink too much. Your eyesight shit. Why, Buck? Mm. Do I want to give that? Wait, these are all like... Hold up. You're drunk. Vodka good? Head hurt, I. But no pain in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They killed my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Don't know. Me sit on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. Had no head. Guts to drink. In can't go. People that kill. But guts to drink. So where has he actually been getting the vodka the whole time? Okay, hold on. It seems like they only want one of these. It's mutually exclusive? Do I want to give the head back to him, or do I want to tell him that I avenged him? Um, Let's go with this one, because I don't know if giving the head back to him, is that something that's appreciated? It's kind of morbid. Although, I think he would, he would be appreciative of the gesture. It's just that the gesture itself is... Yeah, it's a little bit. I punished your wife's murderers. Mine? You'll find what's left of them at the cemetery. I find. Will you fix the bridge? Trolls true. Make sure your hands are steady when you do it. No drink more. Head 
in peace. So we actually didn't have to find Dimitri, huh? Hey, weren't you gonna fix it? Why, Buck? Oh, okay. I found your wife's head. My woman, I not forget. I give reward. Hunter's armor. Oh, I don't need a reward from you. This poor troll. Oh my god. That's really sad. He was just being a troll. <laughs> a good troll. A non harassment troll. And people were the ones harassing him. That's so sad. What did he give us? Hunter's armor, plus 10. Ooh. Oh, the one I have right now is plus 8. Hey, if we can craft this... We can craft it! We have the ingredients! We should craft it! Yeah, we should. Okay. That'll be something to keep in mind once we see Sendler or Cedric or whoever can do this. Okay. While we're in the area anyway, let's go talk to Chorath. And get this spot of power, just because we can. So every time we come across this area, might be a good idea to get those... those circles of power. Yeah, just a little boost. Why not? Greetings, Witcher. See, I remember Cholrab. It's the guy with no pants. Yeah, the guy near town square with no pants. I got it. Wait. We're here. You owe me 200 orins. You'll get 100. What? Listen, I made deals with you and the troll. He kept his word. You're trying not to. I haven't the coin. Sure you don't want to look a little harder? What if I don't find any? Then I'll look myself. This is robbery. Here, I hope you choke on it. How is it robbery when you said you would give me 200? Come on, people don't work for free. You can't be like that. Jeez. Oh. I spared the troll. I true. Good on you. The troll is probably worth more than 200 orins for you guys. Any other jobs? Well-paid jobs? Go seek the old man. Laredo splurged on a sorceress, so he's clearly got means in the budget. Okay. Thanks. So long. Keep well. That's that. The troll problem is solved. Hopefully when we go back there next time, maybe the bridge will be crossable. Okay. So Sendler is the one who lives in the house here, right? I want to see if we can make the armor. Because it's better than what we have right now. But the enhancement. We'll have to find a new enhancement to put on it. <laughs> Yes, Hunter's armor. Oh, oh no, I don't have enough leather. Are you kidding me? Ooh, 225. Okay, well. I know I have the leather. It's in the inn. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Anything else I can make here? Superb leather trousers. We can make this. Clar. That's a trap. And Drega hide. Harpy trap. Effective against harpies. Heavy leather jacket. We don't need this. If we don't need it, can I just sell it? I don't want to be distracted by all these diagrams in my inventory. This one's really good. Look at this. Resistance to incineration plus 30%. Whoa. Yeah, we, we definitely need to make this. What the heck? Damn. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We don't need this one. No. So I'll just sell those then. Yeah. Do you want to trade? Diagrams? Can we buy them back if we want them later? Probably. We do not need... Heavy leather jacket. Yep. And we do not need Witcher Silver Sword. Oh, it's a quest item. Okay. We don't need Witcher's Robust Silver Sword. This one's actually better, but we can sell this one. This one we can't, because it's a quest thing. Okay, but we don't need either of them anyway. We're good for now. These cost 0.1 in weight, though. So not really... Not really something I should be spending too much time on. 
Okay, we're good for now. We're good. Yes. Do you have leather here, actually? If you have leather here, I would be okay with buying it off of you. Yeah, you do. How many do I need? I think I needed 16, right? How many do I have? Yeah, 16. He has 10. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna buy from you then. I'm just gonna go back and get it from the inn. When I come back, later on. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a... Is that something for me? Nope. Timber. Alright. What's next on the list? We are slowly knocking these items one at a time. And Drega! We don't know where the cocoons are. No. We'll just have to look around and find it. Opportunity to travel up the Ponsar River. I uh, don't know if we can do this right now. Karen Osmerk, we have this one. It's really just the two contracts left. So let's go to the Necker. The location. Can we mark a custom location on the map? It was around here. I remember, because it was close to the statue. The statue here. Okay, so basically same place as where we went to last time. But this time... Hopefully, we can seal the entrance. Because if we can't, that would be... That would not be good. <laughs> I wonder... Oh! Oh, there's four nests! Okay. Four nests. Well, might as well make four bombs right now then, right? Rape shot bomb? I have two. So I'm gonna make two more. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I will put it into my... Wait, I don't think I need to... Do I need to? Maybe. Bombs. Grape shot. Here we go. We just have to... Did I get turned around? Yes, I did. We just have to get back to that location again. Which I vaguely remember. I think we'll be okay. But nothing is actually marked on the map here. When is the bridge going to be repaired? Like, if I come back now? Is it gonna be okay? Is it ever going to be repaired? It might not be, you know? It actually might not be. In that case, could I just swim across? Because I, I want to see what this is, okay? Can I just wade across the river? Actually, kind of an interesting question. I think we can. Look at that. That looks like a place we can get up onto. Well, uh, let's focus on the Neckers for now, and we'll come back and see what's across the river here.